scenes of despondency here in Glyphe. The entire community has been badly affected by floods. Residents have been trying to salvage their belongings since morning. We have not been able to sleep. We woke up in the middle of the night by calls from neighbors about the flood. I am from Pambros. All our rooms are flooded. This is the first time I'm experiencing something like this. Uh, we're the first time. Glyphe has over the years experienced flooding during the rainy season. Only that this flood was not caused by rains. The major flood that has hit the Glyphe community has been attributed to the opening of the Wager Dam, which is very far from here. The residents say this is the worst they have experienced since 2007. At the extreme end is the lagoon where salt is mined. The situation is even more serious there and residents have begun to evacuate. The floods have left many people shocked and trapped in their homes. Life has almost come to a standstill here. Residents have not been able to go to work and children have not been able to go to school. Peoples of Christ the Wisdom School here in Glyphe have not been able to attend school due to the floods. Glyphe is a very deprived community. It is almost cut off from the Accra metropolis by Lake Bebu. As I left the Glyphe community, all I could think about was how soon will help come to the hundreds of people affected by the spillage of the Wager Dam. Nabil Ahmed Rufai, ETV News. A day after a heavy flood hit the Glyphe community due to the spillage of the Wager Dam, which is very far from here, it appears life has returned to normalcy in the community. Children here in Glyphe are having a field day playing football on the park in the middle of the community. Their schools are still closed and will only begin operation when the situation improves substantially. Other residents are cleaning up the mess caused by the flats. A clear sign of life must go on despite difficulties. The residents say Nadmo officials had come there to assess the extent of damage caused by the floods, but later found out a man in his early 40s had drowned in the lagoon this morning. We heard a call from someone that a body has been found in the lagoon. We rushed to the place to assist Nadmo officials to remove the body. The assemblyman of the Glyphe community shares some insights on the cause of flooding in the area, which is mostly attributed to rains. Uh, the main cause of uh, flooding is the Glyphe The main cause of the perennial flooding in the Glyphe community is as a result of the operation of the salt mining company. Pambrose. Previously, the lagoon froze into the Wager Dam, but the diversion created to channel the lagoon water into the sea here is worsening the situation by creating stagnant water. Although all seem to be okay in the Glyphe community today, residents fear another flood might hit the community if the situation around the lagoon and sea is not rectified. Nabil Ahmed Rufai, ETV News.